Okay, so the Mi Band 5 has finally been released in India. You get some additional features over the Mi Band 4 like a bigger display, Pi Activity Fitness Tracker, women health features like menstrual tracking, etc, etc. However, there are some little known features Mi Band 5 has up its sleeve like the ability to display map directions, screen mirror your Android device, sync data to Strava, pick up calls, etc. So this is Vadik from TechWiser.com and here are some handy tips and tricks to make the most of your Mi Band 5. And, and if you are new to this channel, well we upload videos weekly on tech and if you want to stay wiser, subscribe to TechWiser and the bell icon as well. First of all, let's start with the limitations of Mi Band 5. Now, Mi Band 5 lets you view calls and notifications right on the band. Now, coming to calls, you can only reject or ignore calls. It would be nice if Xiaomi could have provided an option to pick up calls. Like, at times, I have my Bluetooth earphones connected to my phone, but it's quite far. So, when my Mi Band 5 displays the call notification, it would be great to even have a call accept option. So, here's how to get that. There are multiple customization apps available like Notify for Mi Band, Mi Tools, Mi Bandage, etc. But I would recommend Notify for Mi Band because it has little to no ads. And we'll continue with this app for the rest of the video. First download and install the Notify for Mi Band app. Next open the app and provide it necessary permissions. It will automatically detect the Mi Band 5 connected to the Mi Fit app. Select it and tap on pair. Again some more permissions. Once done, you'll have the band connected and this message should say the band is connected. Once paired within the Notify app, you can just remap either the reject or mute button to accept calls. So in my case, I have mapped the mute button to accept calls. Here, have a look. Now Kaushik is calling me. I just have to tap on the mute button and I can answer the call from my Bluetooth earphones. Now of course, most TWS lets you accept calls but with this method, you'll be able to see who is calling before you accept their call. And if you have any doubts regarding the process, I'll leave a link to a detailed article in the description below. Now I'm so dependent on Google Maps, I use it for metro, bike rides, a quick cycle ride, running, basically everything. So while you're on the go, it's a hassle to remove your phone frequently and check for the maps. So you can get map directions from your phone directly on the Mi Band 5 and oh my god, it's a lifesaver while you're riding in traffic. It mirrors the entire map screen on your band. Oh, by the way, you would need the pro version of Notify for Mi Band app and this will cost you a one-time payment of 280 INR. Just head over to the Notify app, settings, more and start phone screen mirror. Like the app is very smart and it just uses the custom watch face feature to sync a screenshot of your Android directly to the band every 20 seconds. You can reduce the time interval to even 10 seconds, but it would cause huge battery drainage. There's a major drawback to the screen mirroring feature. It doesn't work if your screen is locked. So what I do once I have the map screen synced to the band, I just stop the mirroring externally and now I have the Google map screenshot synced to the bank. I can just have a quick look at the map screenshot whenever I am in doubt. Mi Band 4 allowed you to set third party watch faces with app like Amaze watch faces. But now with the Mi Band 5 you have the option to create your own watch face within the Mi Fit app. How cool is that? To do this, simply open the Mi Fit app, go to the watch face section and under custom dials, Pick a photo from your camera roll or gallery and done. It's so fun to do this and at times if you are just feeling a bit fancy, you can also have memes or GIF as custom backgrounds. It's such a fun to do that with Photoshop. We all have that one, one important person in your contact list whom you call at least once in a day. Like, like your mom for me it's my mom i'm talking about my mom so again notify app settings menu more and here you can modify the play pause music touch control 
when you don't have any music playing this will act as a speed dial notify and fitness app lets you set up a custom contact whom you can call when you tap the play pause music button now this feature is more like a hidden speed dial somewhat like sos <laughs> make sure you have wireless headphones connected you know the mi band 5 doesn't actually have a mic or a speaker the only problem is that this function works only if the app is in the foreground or at least open when you lock your android device okay all my strava fans would relate to this strava is the only place where you run all the virtual races for cycling and running now the mi fit app only syncs your data to the google fit app there's absolutely no option to sync data to strava so here's how you fix that keep your band connected to the mi fit app now download the zep app which was earlier known as amaze fit app log in using the exact same mi id that you have used in the mi fit app now in the zep app go to the profile tab add accounts and here link your strava account now whenever you perform a workout indirectly mi fit app will keep posting it on strava even if you uninstall the zep app the setup would still work i think it's a bug or intentional feature from xiaomi's end but enjoy till it lasts now this is a quick handy gesture that's continued from the mi band 4 so suppose at night you pick up your band or turn on an alarm or something and it takes quite a lot of time to turn off the screen so all you can do is quickly touch the screen with your palm or even your finger just make sure you touch the entire screen at once this gesture will quickly turn off the display it's such a small thing but really when you start using it you would appreciate it every time mi band 5 now gives you the option to set reminders or events however you cannot set recurring reminders so suppose you want to set hand wash reminders after every 2 hours because hey it's important to wash hands nowadays or just take your medicines twice a day so for that you can again use the notify for me band app it lets you set recurring reminders that can be repeated after every 2 hours twice a day any combination according to you it also has inbuilt presets like this one take a break from your computer like in this work from home situation we would all benefit from this reminder like i remember recently i was using my laptop for straight 8 hours terrible notify for me band app can also add smart alarm so here's how it works suppose you set up an alarm to wake up at 7:30 the band starts monitoring your you 30 minutes prior say 7 and will wake you up whenever it feels that you are in light sleep however to make this work please ensure that you have ignored the notify for me band app from battery optimization adaptive battery you know okay so if you have a me band 5 the only way to extract data see workout or sleep data is the me fit app now in case due to privacy issues you don't want to provide data to the me fit app well there's a work around again we'll use the notify for me band app it lets you use your me band 5 without the mi fit app and still get all the features now the process to pair it with notify for me band without the mi fit app is a bit lengthy so stay with me on this first of all unpair the app from the official mi fit app now download the modify mi fit app i'll have the link to it in the description now pair your mi band 5 with this modded mi fit app once you're done head over to the file manager go to internal storage free your band me band auth key open this text file copy and paste this authentication key ignore the mac address at the start now note the auth key write it somewhere or paste it because we'll need this later uninstall the modded me fit app only uninstall the app don't unpair the me band 5 next download the notify for me band app head over to the pairing process and select stand alone mode wait for some time and here you can enter the authentication key and then tap on pair if everything works well you would be paired with the mi band 5 you can use this same trick to pair the mi band 5 with either mi bandage or gadget bridge app the entire process is the same all you need is the auth key so these were all the mi band 5 tips and tricks in case we missed out on something do let us know in the comments below 
or just let us know your favorite one. Subscribe to TechWiser. This is Badik signing off. See you soon.